Yo, what's up Kings? It's your boy here once again, Young B, showing you another fantastic video. Just want to come on here real quick, guys, and just uh, just say I'm just so excited about what's to come, about the new changes that are coming, not only to our channel, but also to life, right? I know life has been really tough for a lot of us Kings out here, but um, I'm excited. You know, things are going to be great um, because we're going to make them great, right? Um, we're not going to just whimper and whine, cry and let society beat us down and tell us how we should be or, or you know, end us being into submissiveness and all this little silliness, right? And we're gonna raise young men to become leaders. And uh, that's what this is about, guys. You know, so like I always say, this channel's for men. Not boys, not males, but men looking to become the greatest version of themselves so then therefore they can have the tools so they can just go win, right? And combat life, right? Um, it just seems like a lot of times men don't have tools out here there's a lot of other tools out here say for like ladies and women out there but they're not teaching men masculinity anymore masculinity as far as i'm concerned is like almost extinct and they're teaching men to be very soft right and uh you don't want to be that you want to be mas masculine stoic um assertive dominant all these things that actually make you attractive as a man <laughs> to attract the opposite sex not even just that that make you the man that you are right so, you know, uh, you know, Justin Timberlake used to say we're bringing sexy back, but we're bringing masculinity back, okay? So, you know, I'm, uh, I'm excited about that. So we're here, you know, we're here at the dealership, you know, looking at cars like always. I was looking at this one car uh, behind me right there. That's like a fly, right? That um, a BMW, that sucker's nice. Man, that thing is clean, man. That sucker's so pretty. But, you know, hey, you know, always uh, dream building, always looking forward to the future because we're putting in the work now to build it so the premise of this video guys is to to wake you up right i want you guys to understand um that it's a fight there's a fight out there right and it's a very serious fight i've been saying this a while on our channel um but it's gotten to the point now where i have to make this video where um you know you either going to succeed or die trying Okay, and it's that serious. Most people that don't understand this, most people, even your family, friends, all these people, they ain't gonna understand. Uh, one of my mentors used to say, never expect someone to understand your path when they haven't been given your vision. Okay, so most people will not understand because they don't have your perspective and or the vision that you have for your life and what it takes to become set, you know, uh, uh, professional or set uh, um, exceptional, right, in life. Not just professional, but exceptional. And all the things that that you want in life are gonna require a lot of work. And guys, I'm telling you, either you be successful or you die trying. Um, like I said before, we're at a war. Masculinity is on, uh, 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 as being attacked. Um, um, a lot of things need to, need to be discussed about how we are as, as men. And we need to come together, you know, and I see that happening. A lot of channels are starting to do that. Uh, men talking about the inter intersexual dynamics of men and women, how we both operate. It's unfortunate because we're supposed to complement each other uh, and help each other, but we're actually going against the grain of fighting each other now. So a lot of people aren't really even coming together as much anymore. Um, ego, pride, you know, all these little goofy things that most people uh, can't put aside to put their differences aside that make us the great nation that we've become, right? Um, and uh, it's gonna hurt us in the long run, right? Uh, you're gonna see less families. I'm telling you guys this, it's gonna happen. You're gonna see less marriages, you know? Um, it's funny, because I got people ask me, how come you're not married? How come you have kids and all this other stuff? I would love to have that stuff. I would love to have that, but as a man, knowing what I know now, it's my responsibility to vet women the way they should be vetted and how I need to make sure to protect my life and the type of lifestyle that I'm building and where I'm going, right? Where most people are not, aren't willing to put in the work to build. And that's 100% gonna happen. So I've gotta be very, very scrupulous, very diligent, very responsible, very mature in my vetting process and things like that. And honestly, I don't believe in um, getting married through the court system. I've already told you guys that. I don't care what anyone says on that. Um, I believe if you wanna get married, do it privately. Uh, in this day and age, it is not a best investment. It's not smart to get married through the court system due to how everything is. Uh, it's important to understand that as a man, you need to protect yourself because no one else is doing it for you, okay? And have the mental discipline and maturity um, 
to know what's best for not only you, but for your family. Um, yeah, so, you know, um, that's just one element of that, guys. And, you know, I just want you guys to understand how serious this is and how important your guys' future is, right? So take it such, right? I believe before even a woman, you guys need to um, uh, be on your path and purpose, okay? Because this stuff is important. Path of purpose, hero's journey, that is number one. Number two is a tranquility, right? Mind, body, and soul. Getting those in alignment, always putting those at the forefront because you got to make sure you got that in alignment. And then everything else down the line, wife, kids, et cetera, et cetera. You need to put yourself first, okay? You're the leader. You're the head, right? And if most people don't want to understand that, that's their problem, okay? You need to understand that life as a man is not going to be easy. It's going to be very difficult. It's going to be very strenuous. It's going to be very tough. But that's, why, that's what makes it beautiful, you need to suffer. There's things I always say all the time. Um, the stuff, when you suffer, it creates patience. And then to be patient means to suffer. Okay? Let me say that again. To suffer means to be patient. And to be patient means to suffer. So that means you got to be aggressive with what you're doing, but you got to be patient. Right? And you're going to suffer throughout that time. It's not a bad suffering. There's a suffering that's required for you to become great, and you need to go through what you got to go through to understand that oh that's why i went through that and that's why i am who i am now and that's why i'm that why i'm becoming who i'm becoming because i went through what i had to go through right so um just mind hacking things like that but anyways you know guys i just want you guys to understand how serious it is right it is like do or die now right and you don't have a choice you really have to become great you really the best version of yourself my dad used to say this right don't don't um uh don't let the world shape your view, right? Don't let them do that. But he used to tell me this, is that do the best you can at the best of your ability level, okay? Not part of the time, not some of the time, but all the time. And you need to make sure you always are doing that. Now more than ever. Because most people, not even family or friends, like I said before, don't have a clue of what's going on. But it is my responsibility and others that do know what's going on. To share this so you guys can also have the best chance out there uh, have the best life possible best ROI on your investment and uh, get a great life whether it be ROI with your businesses that you build ROI with your relationships you have ROI with the types of life you're gonna have you have to make sure and vet to make sure rationally think is this a good investment does this make sense as a man that's what you're meant to do you're supposed to analyze things and see if this makes sense. It's not an emotional decision. It needs to be a logical decision. It needs to be a rational decision because that's what men are. Rational, logical thinkers. And you have to solution seek and problem solve and, uh, and make things happen. Um, whether you do it alone, you know, when you, if you're with someone or not, it doesn't matter. You band together with your brothers, right? Share your, share your hard times with them and, um, and rise up. So, guys, you know, I really do believe in you guys. I really believe everyone can become the best version of themselves in the way they need to be, okay? But it's going to take work. It's going to take a lot of understanding, and it's going to take a lot of suffering. And welcome to the fight, you know? Suffering is what it takes. You want to become great? You want to have nice things, big rings, doing big things. They got the Lamborghini dealership. They ain't got nothing here for some reason. I don't know what's going on here, right? Driving in the Mercedes, you know, we're, we're killing it, right? And that's just one element. And then... Let's take a look at this thing real quick. This thing is so sick. Let's see this. Let me see if I can get that in there. Look at that thing. That thing is so sweet. Look at that. That sucker is nice. What the heck is that thing? That thing is freaking pretty, man. They knew what they were doing. They made this. <laughs> I'm telling you, man color's cool it's kind of got like that lamborghini color but i like it you know i think it's sexy yeah so yeah you know it's sexy like me so you know you got to get a car to match with it so but anyways guys i just wanted to share that with you um yeah comment below um leave your thoughts you know uh we always like to hear from you and see what you guys you know are thinking what you guys are going through um you know this is the movement right um let us know how you feel what you're going through good times hard times you know we'll set up things where we all can talk come together and um, um create the war room 
right? So, uh, anyways, guys, it's your boy signing out. And like I always say, you just got hit with a lot of Adonia. So, anyways, take care. Have a safe night. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.